Hi students, this is Farwa Batool, your O-Levels Computer Science Instructor and welcome to the course. Okay, in this video we are going to talk about the content overview and the assessment overview of O-Level Computer Science. Why? Because there are some changes that are done by Cambridge International. Let's see what are these changes related to this course and when these changes are going to be applied. Okay, let me discuss the content overview first. In the content overview of O-Level Computer Science, we are going to see all the topics that we will study in this course. So, first of all, this particular topic is, our course is divided into two sections. There is section 1 and there is another section that is section 2. Let me tell you the names of these sections. Section number 1 is Computer Systems. Earlier it was theory of computer science but now it is computer systems. The name has been changed. Uh, section number 2 is named as algorithms. It is more practical. Algorithms, programming and logic. Next to it Okay, now after these sections, now let's see what are the topics that we, we will study under each of these sections. Let's talk about computer systems first. Inside computer system, we are going to study six topics. The very first topic is data repre representation. Okay, so inside data representation, we will study number systems, Test, text, sound and images, data storage and file compression. The second topic we are going to study is data transmission. In the topic of data transmission, we will study types and methods of data transmission, methods of error detection, symmetric and asymmetric encryption. The third topic we will study is hardware. And inside the topic of hardware, we will have computer architecture, input and output devices, data storage, network hardware. Then the fourth topic that is under study is software. Okay. In this topic, you are going to study types of software and interrupts, types of programming languages, translators and integrated development environments, IDEs. Now let's talk about the fifth topic. In the fifth, fifth one, it is the internet and its uses. Okay. In this topic, we are going to study the internet and the World Wide Web, digital currency, cyber security. Okay. Now the sixth one, the name of the sixth topic is automated and emerging technologies. automated and this is a new topic that is introduced by the Cambridge International automated and emerging technologies so under this topic you are going to study automated systems robotics and artificial intelligence yes this is going to be very interesting okay next we have section number two let's talk about the Topics of section number two that is algorithms, programming and logic. Okay, the very first thing here. Here you are going to have four topics. The seventh topic after the sixth topic automated and emerging technologies. The seventh topic in, the six, in section number two is algorithm design and problem solving. Okay, so here algorithm design and problem solving is the first topic okay so inside this topic you are going to study the program development life cycle computer systems subsystems and decompositions explaining the purpose of an algorithm standard methods of solution validation and verification test data Trace tables to document dry runs of algorithms, identifying errors in algorithms, and writing and amending algorithms. Yes, this is going to be a lengthy topic. Then we have 
the eighth topic that is programming inside this topic you are going to program this is particularly related to programming concepts arrays and file handling handling next we have databases okay so the topic of databases is basically comprised of all uh, it is just going to tell you how you are going to uh, arrange all the data in a sequential form or in a database and you will learn about queries to get the data okay then the 10th topic here is boolean algebra yes okay so in boolean algebra you are going to study the standard logic gate symbols the function of the six logic gates logic circuits logic expressions truth tables and program problem statements yes so these are basically the two sections section number one and section number two of this particular course of o level computer science this is all about content overview now let's move towards the second part of this video okay now let me discuss the assessment overview with you okay let's see what are the changes that are done in the assessment of this particular course okay so in assessment overview first of all as i have all already told that we have two sections section 1 and section number 2 so keep in mind that there will be two papers of this section from section number 1 you will have a paper 1 paper 1 will be made from section number 1 whereas paper 2 will be made from section number 2 or the contents of section number 2 now let's talk about the timing of these papers you are going to have 1 hour and 45 minutes for each of these papers here again you will go get 1 hour and 45 minutes and then important thing is that how many marks are there so this paper 1 will be of 75 marks now yes it is no more 50 marks but now the paper marks are increased each of these papers are going to be of 75 marks this is very important for the students who are going to give their examinations in the year of 2023 and onwards okay so percentage of overall marks is going to be 50% for paper 1 and 50% for paper 2 secondly the syllabus topic examined i have already mentioned that section 1 has six topics 1 till 6 and section number 2 has four topics from 7 till 10 so all together the course of o level computer science is going to have these 10 topics that you are going to study in a detailed manner Thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we are going to talk about each of these topics in detail stay tuned stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel